Where are we today? Doing a bit of market research. It's one of my favourite shops. They do the best blouses. Oh, let's do Marge. Love that. Where are we going now? Bash. How nice is that? Oh, no, she never to Rick's though. Oh, pretty. Look at these. 99 quid with your prescription. It's really good. It looks oh, a lot more expensive than Zara, no? Love those sleeves. That's really cool. Okay. All right. Around. Very much. Yeah. Well, let's, yeah, let's speak. Let's speak. All right. Let's love. Bye, 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 bye. Good morning, Georgie Courage Cole. How are you? Good. How are you? Very well. How was your weekend? Fun. What did you get up to? Really fun. 40th birthday party. It's all my dad's. Children play golf. Children play golf. Golf lessons now. Very nice sense. What's happening today? We are doing a podcast with the mums. It's a mums group today. What are you going to be talking about? about mums stuff. We do a bit of parenting content. Yeah, quite a lot of our readers have children. A lot of our readers have children. We're going to overdo it because not everyone's there yet. Some people have passed it or some people are there and don't talk about it. We have got Helen Whitaker. I haven't met her before. I'm really looking forward to meeting her. She's a journalist. She's just written a book called The School Run. What's it about? I'll let you work that one out, Rich. Okay. Anyway, she's coming on. And then Georgina, Laura. I need to get rid of some of these books, didn't I? Alpha Girls. Girl on Girl. Mothers. What do you people say about me? It's funny, isn't it? Do you remember Through the Keyhole? I do, yeah. Ooh, Who lives, lives in a house, house like, like this? this? I yeah. hated that program. No. It taunted me as a child. It's always on and I never wanted to watch it. Mothers. Michelle Obama becoming. Oh, I haven't read that. Have you read it? I think they'd say I was a feminist or something. Yeah, they probably would. She wrote a journal. She's cashing in on the success of her book. Oh, and this is a new book. Becoming one year on. This is a journal. It's a self-help journal. Oh, it's basically like stationery. <laughs> stationery. Isn't it? Think of this journal as a companion. No, it's a companion, Rich. Oh. Your own journey of becoming. Talk breaking questions and prompts to help you discover the one thing that will always be true to you and you alone. Your story. Hit me with one. What kind of childhood did your parents or grandparents have? What has been your greatest sacrifice? Ooh. <laughs> Describe a memorable holiday. Pick a favourite photo and write a story. Do you think I've got time for this, Michelle Obama? I'll be becoming a complete failure. If I wait time <laughs> filling in that journal, no <laughs> offence, I thought your book was great, but I'm not so keen on the journal. <laughs> this is more me. How to stop losing your shit with your kids. Oh, that's my so sad. Wait. I went to a party on Saturday night. Wait. Just about to leave. Our oh, friend is spotting while she was like, I need to be in on time. It's getting dressed and I fucking never this in the office. Jonesy and I are always late. Jonesy, we can't be late. They think we're always late. I put my champagne glass on the stairs. Jonesy walks downstairs. Kicks it over. Chaos, chaos. You can't believe you can't believe it. It's a taxi and I was coming in by the office. Really? Coming on the way. I just grabbed the keys in my bag, except for the set of three. I rang one, I was like, how do I get into your office? I literally just like four knocks. Well, you just talk us through. Got in the front door, we got the alarm off. And couldn't get in the other door. So close, yet so, so my far. my new look, hot product. Is that new look? 22, I don't know, who thought it here? I wouldn't have. I didn't get to wear it. Nice no, yeah. that you were there on the end of the phone. So you, you're basically a call centre. <laughs> what, like? Oh, well, party season's coming, I'm sure you'll get some new Top tip from new look. This one's yes. totally even a work. Hi. Hello, Helen. Hello. Hello, I'm Helen Whitaker, author of The School Run. What are we doing today? I'm recording a podcast. I'm here because I wrote a book called The School Run. Comedy about two women fighting over state school places. What are we talking about in the podcast today? Parenting in general, competitive parenting, judgment in parenting. Are you a judgy parent? I hope not. What's the best piece of parenting advice you've ever been given? This too shall pass. What's your favourite thing about being a parent? My son's hilarious. A proper little character. Funny and sweet and I just love him. I love hanging out with him. Do you like being a parent? I love being a parent. Do you ever get judged? I'm sure I get judged daily. I'm not sure I'm always aware of it. If you're on that long haul flight and your child's screaming, shouting at your toddler in the street. Or if you witness it, do you judge other people? What's your top tip for dealing with your child on a long haul flight? Screens. All the screens. And yeah. not too much sugar. No sugar, lots of screens. Yeah. Just what I need is a small Another quality tree. Go for the green triangle. Ooh, and the bonus ball. What was the bonus ball again? Truffle. I don't like dark chocolate. It looks like it's going to be really dark. But it's not. It's not. Ha 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 ha. Mmm. Yummy. I'm just doing my papers, Sarah. I'm here. Hello. Hello, and welcome to the Sherlock's Highlights podcast. But we will start with a bit of TV. I've been watching his dark materials on BBC. A bit spooky. Slightly super natural yes. magic realism it's a film called what we did on our holiday family drama comedy yeah. you get the idea there's been lots of improvisation in the scenes how did you get published well, i wrote a book I managed to get an agent we sent that out to publishers no one wanted to publish it well, that was a blow but one of the publishers they said if you can't find a publisher for this book come back to us and we'll talk about some other ideas and that's what ended up happening and that's one. where the school run came from yeah i'm sitting here with a book next to me how to stop using your shit with your kids <laughs> I was saying to rich this morning that i opened it out on a page put down your damn phone weirdly it's kind of stuck with me, touched my phone for three hours of the day. I was like, that has never 
happened before and I was really proud of myself actually. It can be tough. A lot of people are their own worst enemy. Be really kind to yourself. Enjoy the good days and don't beat yourself up on the bad days. Everyone's got their own battles. Everyone's struggling with things. However perfect some yeah. other might look. Friend, basically say anything to and they won't judge you. Friday, Friday your old friend. I agree. <laughs> Friday tea and a G&T. I think that's what we've got time for. Thank you so much for joining Thank us. How did that go? Nice, nice to chat with some fellow mums. Talk about parenting and life. Any key takeaways? I think we're all actually harder on ourselves than we are on each other. Everyone one feels the same about certain things, just don't necessarily talk about it a lot. Bye Helen. Bye. How did that go? Great! I think really good to see something a bit different. We always get lots of mums saying hey, our podcast keeps them sane when they're up in the middle of the night trying to get their children to sleep. Yeah. We don't need to talk about mum stuff every week, but it's nice to see something a bit different. Hello. Good evening, Lou Huff. How are you? Hi, Rich. I'm good, thanks. How are you? I'm very, very well. What are we doing today? We are about to go into the Isle 8 press day. Isle 8 represents so many amazing brands. Kitri, Cezanne, Mango, Seffin, Rag & Bone. So I'm really excited to see what they've got. What are you hoping to see? I'm literally just peering through the window and I can see some good coats, some really nice jewellery. And we were actually going over. Also, just being in Covent Garden at Christmas time makes me feel really festive. Should we go in and see what they've got? Yes. Hi! Do you want me to show you around everything? Yeah, go for it. Obviously, I know that you love Missima anyway. This is like the evergreen pieces. I pretty much have the entire Missima pack. Yeah, I mean, that's her. That's that. It's chunky, but it's still not too in your face, which I like. Hi! Do you know what I watched last night? Oh, I mean, it. Oh, my God. Did you? The first brand you mention is Missima. And you're like Lucy Williams, and I'm like, that's my girl. Yeah, I've had so many messages from people being like, gotta go shopping with Harvey Mix now. You look like I had the first time, and I was like, I did. How are you? So we've got Newly Matthews. It's exclusively to matches. They're amazing. And then with the whole workroom collection, any spare units left at matches, send them back to Lee Matthews and they will re dye them all Oh, I love that. Fun is that? Oh, it's just fun. It's a really practical size. Who's it from? Lulu Guinness. Lovely. Love, Joe Love. Yeah. Obviously, I have our advent calendar. Yeah, she already opened with you, didn't she? How's it smell? Christmas. Ooh, that's lovely. My favourite is the layered candle. Christmas tree. Plum pudding. Log fire. Oh, that's too smoky for me. That's yeah. a fire in the house. <laughs> Be careful. That's Pamela. Oh, heaven. Great. Lovely. Have you tried the paintbrush? Give yourself a fragrance. Oh, that's gorgeous. So if you want, I can add your initial yes, off to the back. L A. Oh, no. Can I actually have L U instead? There we go. Perfect. Where are we going now? Now we're having a look at Seffin, Sam Sam's brand. That amazing faux yeah. fur blue coat at Harvey Nicks, right? Oh, is that it? That's a long version, but I love the short version. It's really nice, so soft. Nice velvet dresses. So you a heist fan? Best. Shape wearer. Best, the best. We launched tights and we designed them. Ours have no gusset. There's no centre seam mark. One very discreet toe seam. And then the waistband is hand sewn. It does yeah. everything that's shaped like it should. It looks beautiful. You can move. You yeah. can go about your day. I like short. Target's lower abdomen. Inner thigh. So you've got a natural lift. What's next, Lou? Mango! Mango! Oh, that's cool. Loving a bit of vinyl at the moment. They're really cool. Really nice. Oh my god, look at that. Ooh, love that. Love winter white. Incredible. They are amazing. The ultimate addition to any party outfit. It's fun. We're now at Kitchery. They do amazing dresses, prints, colours. This is a bridal collection. Penny, who's the creative director and founder, created it purely because when she got married, all she could find was like a big dress. Actually, when it came down, to it, like wedding rehearsal, dinner the night before, she couldn't find anything. This is, so this is kind of like supplementary bridal. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. Oh, it's a jumpsuit. Yeah, and then this looks like their Christmas party wear collection, which looks really fun and fabulous. Lots of velvet, lots of sequins. Look at that. Amazing. Really good price point picture in that Rick Sosa portrait game. Luha, we came to Isle Seasonal Press Day. What were your top three picks? Number one was the mango white coat. Love. I love the length. Love winter white. She get amazing. Number two is this white dress from Kitchen, their bridal collection. That is so beautiful. Stunning. Love the concept. Love the shape. Gorgeous. And finally, number three. Got to be this Missima gold bangle. Just perfect. How did that go? Really good. It's always just so nice to see the new collection. Hear more about what brands are doing now and in the future. And I'm so chuffed with my Joe Loves and my Lou. That's going to go straight on my Christmas tree. I'm really excited. Bye, Lou. Bye. <laughs> it's cold, right? It's really cold. Yeah. Winter. I feel like you should be wearing a hat. I know. I feel like I should too. I feel like I should probably be wearing socks. <laughs> <laughs> I think socks and a hat. Slightly uncooked, didn't I? Good morning, Georgie Corris. Cole, how are you? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm gonna you stand, stand in the sun. sunlight. Oh. I can, yeah, there we go. That's better. <laughs> Warmer now. Yeah, much better. Where are we today? Doing a bit of market research. I always say you got to get out there. You got to get in the field. You got to see what's in store. See stuff in the flesh. I just get those ideas from doing this. So I now have it in my diary to do it every month. It's how you come across new brands, new collections, see new products, see what's good, see what's
feels not good. What kind of shops are you going to go to? All sorts. Snow's here. Some of my favourite up here. Cardigan Voltaire. Bash. Marge. Sandro. Jason K. Do it all the way down to Shoot of York. Some of Zara. A few brands that we're working with at the moment. I just want to go in and see what they've got. Should we get going? Let's go. So where are we going first? Voltaire. You might need to keep a bit of a low profile. We love this dress. I love these boots. These are everywhere. I feel like I've got to get on board with these boots. Do you know what they look like? What? I was in the TA when I was in school and I did a 100 mile army march. 100 miles? I wore core boots like that. In one go? Over days. I had my feet drained in a medical tent. My blisters were so bad I couldn't walk. But one of my toes hasn't recovered. Oh, wow. We love, we love this. Trudy would like that, wouldn't she? She would very Lights much. Lights up the face. It's like a mirror under the face. Like that. I really like that. Oh, look, that's a long version. Oh. That is what I want to be wearing today. That's like a Christmas day dress, isn't it? Not in my house, so you'll get really glammed up. Do they? Yeah. What do you wear on Christmas day? Something like that. No, actually, probably a bit smarter. Maybe a box. Boxing day dress. That's cool because it's kind of metallic, navy metallic. <laughs> it is freezing. Oh. oh, there we go. Cozy? Yeah, it's really cozy. Oh, it's really cool that, isn't it? Made out of sleeping bags. Snuggy, isn't it? snug. <laughs> I think I prefer the navy. It's a bit streetwear for me. So I've got this in just plain black without the guitars. Quite a rocky just, touch. Just the right amount of lace. I also have this shirt in pink. Last time I was in here, I saw Eva Hertzgo. Eva Hertzgo, well, well, well. Right, go onwards. Pick of the store. No, I think this is really lovely. I'm not going to put it on. But this is your pick of the store. Yeah. They're cool. Amazing, thank you. Where to now? Look, look at Be rude not to. It's one of my favourite shots. Oh, look. Isn't that beautiful? They do the best blouses. I have this too. You recognise that? I do, yeah. Paisley's a thing this season, right? Yeah. got that. So far has just got... I know. It's I come mean, along so yeah. far. Oh, wow. You remember that second one from Harvey oh, Nicks? Dude. It feels like fur now. Cozy? That is just like a hug. Really nice. Is this new? This is really seasonal. It's quite light. I mean, why aren't you wearing something like that today? Oh, it's so soft. Good faux fur, Sandro. I think there's definitely quite a good story here. I'm faux fur. Okay. This is your pick of the shop. Yeah. You can tell this one's the expensive one, eh? Yeah, I know. Don't <laughs> try and steal me. So there's the black version of that pink with the hood. See, they've got it in that colour as well. Heaven. I quite like the size of the hood. It's a good size hood, yeah, isn't yeah. it? I need some ears. I know, that's what I was thinking. You look like yeah. Bungle. Remember Bungle? Bungle! <laughs> Zippy and George! I was saying the other day I wanted the silver puffer. Do you really? But let's see the silver. Come on, reverse it. On reflection, <laughs> maybe it's not. Very well done. A great investment. You look a bit post marathon. I do, don't I? Quite fun for skiing. Great for the app, right? Yeah, quite clean. Oh, let's do Mars. This I love this. Who can you see in this suit? Charlotte. Yeah. She'd love that. She'd love it, wouldn't she? I love it. Isn't that cool? Oh, hello. Fun, isn't Very it? jazzy, yeah. That is a great jacket. They're really good at doing these kinds of things. Very Chanel esque. Yeah. Oh, I didn't notice that. Yeah, it's quite cool, right? Yeah. Really like that. Would you say Marge is a bit younger than Sandra, yeah? We're aiming for the same target in terms of age, but yeah, we're a bit more fun. So look, faux fur. It's a bit more street. A bit athleisure Yeah. Sandra just feels like slightly older, I would say. That's nice, isn't it? How are you nice. feeling? It's, cool. it's really nice. I like the stripe. Kind of like piping. Like piping, yeah. yeah that's yeah, nice. Really nice. Really nice. Yeah, really fun. Yeah. Isn't that cool? Look. Can you see that it's see through at the bottom? Yeah, it's it's cool. Sexy, love. Love that. I didn't expect I like it that much. Good Christmas day. What are you trying on now? I've got a wreath. Trucks jacket that I love. I wear it all the time. It's the thing that I worry about the most. Dying on me. My lips are so oh, dry no. from this weather. It's actually cracked. Oh, that is a nice jacket. People always ask me where I got my wreath one from. That is lovely. Thank Thank you. So many new glasses brands. The extent we're doing a roundup. up SL Mag. This is why you have to come out. Bailey Nelson kicked it off, I would say. And now there are just so many. Is this all own brand? Yes. Yeah, yeah French bread. Oh, they're cool. Oh, I love those. Jimmy Fairley. It's not a very French sounding name, is it? If you say like Jimmy Fairley, then it's. Oh, personally, those ones. Cool. Is everything one price? Two kind of prices 99 pounds and 149. All of the glasses, the prescription lenses are included. You know, that is a great price point, right? That's why you see booming this market. Good sunglasses, I like them. Really cool. They're fun. Rose quartz. Exactly. Glasses, glasses, glasses. I like those. They're cool. Yeah. They're very similar to my glasses. Do I look more intellectual? You look very intellectual, yeah. I've just gone up about six or seven IQ I points. Have, I, I mean, I know. <laughs> really nice shape. 99 quid with your prescription. It's really good. Yeah, you can't beat it, can you? It's a no brainer. It's a no brainer. Very cool. Thank you. Pick of the shop. If you like Celine. Sunnies. Do not so keen on the price tag. These will save you a bit of money. Do you do prescription sunglasses as well? Yeah, I'll do yeah. That's included in the price, is it? I could do that because I am blind. Thank you. Where are we going now? Bash. Let's do it. I've got this in white, such a good shirt. How's it for her? Lovely. Oh yeah, it is. I can get in and pick my outfit for the reader event before Charlotte knew. When's the reader is, event? Is it next week or the week after? Oh. I've got this in blue, it's really lovely. Oh, look at that. That's actually the back, but I wear that at the front as well with a little cami underneath, it's really lovely. Kind of looks like what a ballerina would wear to keep warm yeah. between rehearsals. That's a fun Christmas knit, isn't it? Yeah, very fun. Oh, is it a low back or a low front? That's the back, I think. Nice fur in here as well. Oh, it's kind of cream, that. That's not white, is it? Because that's oh. cream. It must be really amazing green, Bash. How nice is that? For the evening. 
evening with a pair of heels, like a pair of Monono Blahnik, some sparkly earrings. I love that. It's kind of dressed up without looking like you tried too hard. Yeah, not too done. Oh, here's the blue. Love it. Right, just get out of the way. Pick of the shop. I just love the blouse with the rougher collar. I literally want them in every colour. I want the blue, I want the green. Oh, how about a book shop? Yeah, shall we? Oh my god, look, do you know about this? No, what's this? You need to read it, it's amazing. The boy, the mole, the fox, and the horse. This is a really amazing story that this kind of made me cry. Let's go and quickly. It's literally the sweetest story. The boy is lonely when the mole first surfaces. They spend time together, gazing into the wild. I think the wild is a bit like life, frightening sometimes, but beautiful. Oh my god, that's literally making me cry now. The boy is full of questions. The mole is greedy for cake. The fox is mainly silent and wary because he's been hurt by life. The horse is the biggest thing they've ever encountered and also the gentlest. I can see myself in all four of them. Perhaps you can too. Oh. Tears fall for a reason and they're your strength, not your weakness. Sometimes I feel lost, said the boy. Me too, said the mole, but we love you and love brings you home. It's like Winnie the Pooh for the 21st century. Yeah, literally the sweetest thing. I reckon that's going to be one of the best selling Christmas presents this year. Right, onwards. We need to go to a card shop. My dad's birthday, friend's oh. birthday. Basically, everyone's a Scorpio. It's Lars and I said at least one in 12 people are Scorpio. Yeah, that is true, actually. Quick deviation. Would you look oh. for in a good birthday card? Uh, Do you look for jokes? Or? Yes. I got four cards from this range for my birthday. Love is not a fairy tale. If you lose your shoe at midnight, you're drunk. We one for my friend, my dad. I've got a male friend. Not only really cats, but this card really made me laugh. One. Six reasons you should consider being a cat. I just like free food, free room. Dogs have masters, cats have staff. And that's about as much cat chat as I think we should have. Not into cats at all. Not into cats. Yeah. You like a dog though, right? Yeah, I am. What is that? Would you give one of those to? I don't know, something you don't like? Could you buy them? Maybe for a stag? I don't, I can't see it. People go around on a stag eating <laughs> booby bumps, if I'm honest. <laughs> No, I can't. No, no, no. I have to say. <laughs> hey guys, where are the movie pops? <laughs> Tickle me that, dude. Tickle me, to be honest. All right, let's go to it soon and have something to eat. Oh, the juice. What do you think? Yeah, you one want? of those ones that they blitz up. What were they? It was those. These ones, yeah, yeah. I have one of those. Go for it. What do you want? I might go for one of those. The, no, the green ones. I have a meter as well. Hello, guys. Do you want to make those for you? How's it taste? Really good. How's your veggie one, guys? Thank, Thank you very much. much. Cheers, G. That is bloody good. I have to say, I can feel myself getting healthier. How's the meter? Very nutritious. It's too done. What's the plan? I can spot a Reese. Right, let's go to Reese. Did you see our Reese lookbook on the site? Amazing. They did an amazing job. Love a velvet blazer on a guy. That's really pretty. Oh. That's that's nice. That's reversible. Oh, that's lovely. Quite a lot of cream suits around. Cream suits having a moment. It seems that way, doesn't it? Nice Christmas present. Uh, it's a pot in the prep. Quick, don't tell anyone. Oh, good. He's empty. Oh, look, we never been to Rick's though. The collection is so big now. Oh, my shirt. Pretty. Love that colour. This is what someone was wearing. She's wearing it in blue. It looks really lovely. Isn't that nice? What do you reckon is the key to Rick's success? Racing colour. Having fun. Yeah. Fashion yeah. snobs. Yeah. 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 Fashion that takes us quite seriously. Yeah. And it shows, doesn't it? That's nice, isn't it? Oh, look. Colours. This is a great skirt. Ombre sequins. Exactly. Oh, pretty. It's nice in here, isn't it? Yeah, lovely. It really lifts your spirit. It does, isn't it? They're onto something, aren't they? Let's do stories. And then maybe Duke York. Everyone is mad about stories now. You really got a very strong place on the high street these days. Yeah, That's yeah. cool. I love those sleeves. See Polly in that. Feature on the fashion fix, couldn't it? Yeah, we could, right? Love these cardies. I reckon they're selling tons of these. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, it's raining. Quick, quick. Really neat. Slippers. Zara home, that's where I can find some new slippers. So blue in. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> well, uh, swimming trunks, I think, are really cool for guys. Right. Can I just say this? Is the best moisturizer and it's 35 pounds. This and Augustine Spada. Cora, this is what's her name? Miranda Kerr, isn't it? It's Cora Miranda Kerr, yeah? If you want to come on Sherlock's show, Miranda, and tell us all about Cora, then we'd love to have you. Tata Harper. Oh, amazing. 100% natural. Love, 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 love. This is one of my favorites. Remember you said? What is that? Oh, nice. It's really cool, that red. Oh, I mean, what a good Christmas present. Just finished my one of these. Look at these. How cool is that? What's that foundation? Yeah, amazing. Is that not just the most fun? This brand, Hourglass. I reckon I happily only wear makeup from them. And Laura Mercier. And Nars. Chantikai fan? Yeah. Such a fan. All the makeup brands they have. You can't really go wrong in place NK, can you? My friend got me into this. Number 34 Boulevard Saint Germain. But their first store was, I think. It smells incredible. Oh, so good, isn't it? Which one's on base? It's your favourite, isn't it? Actually, my favourite is Fur de Bois. I have several of these in my house. Absolutely love. I've got my rainbow in here. Highlights in it. That by Terry foundation brush. Oh my god, can you smell that number 34 it's good. Boulevard Saint Germain? And that by Rado. Right, come on. Oh no, quick. Finally, where are we now? My lord, we are back in the 80s. Cute. That yeah. lot. Very Love that. That's gorgeous. 29 quid. You know, it's 80s and then they're the wrong side of the 80s. I think they're cute. That's pretty. Isn't that lovely. Is this Zara or is this a fancy dress shop? Those are really cool. It's quite rotate, isn't it? It is quite rotate, yeah. Oh, wow. Look at that. Amazing colour. Iridescent That's blue. That's really cool. With knee high boots. Love this. You're going to try this on? Yeah. It's cool, right? It looks a lot more expensive than Zara, no? Love those sleeves. That's really cool. Love. These are quite low waisted. High waisted trousers. It's amazing sleeves. Love that. I think it's pretty chic. What's the price point? 25 quid. 25 quid. You can't I go know. wrong. Isn't that collar awesome? I really like that. I love 
love an evening top that's not too tight. Really lovely. Alright, can you hold that for a second? Who's that? I'm literally like for the whole shot. How do you feel? Slightly self-conscious. Yeah, you suffer your art though, right? But it's pretty cool. Yeah, it's really cool. Isn't it? Yeah, sequins are here. That's beautiful on it. Oh, it's nice to say. Nice. I'm not sure I'd wear it. Hence. Shoulders are just cool, aren't they? Anyway, it's fun. Right, can you hold my bag? Yeah, I'll hold your bag. Nice. All part of the service. Can I just nip and start home? Two seconds. Oh, you can get some slippers. I'm showing the Birkenstock. Not into a Birkenstock slipper. Oh, well, that could be the perfect mirror. For the bathroom. Do you like this? Do you know what the width of this is? 51. Nine centimetres out, but not too bad. Can I keep it there for a second so I look around? Love these. How oh, great. Washing basket, children's toys. They're quite nice. They'll do. They'll do, but they, they're for you. Yeah. Happy days. Oh, they're on sale. Can I just take these? These. Where'd you take them? Where'd you take them? I'm going to get through now. Oh, no, real rain. Do they sell umbrellas? Ah, it's real rain. I'll go. I'll go. I'll go. I'll go. I'll go. One o'clock, nice. Uber. This is a coat over the head job. It could be, yeah. Go. I'll like follow you. Billy Reed serving you well. What about my velvet goop? Oh yeah, that's not good for them, is it? Straight ahead, you've got 20 yards. Oh. Ah, refuge. Oh, that's cute. My mum would love that. She loves a pink cardi. It's really nice. I really like that. It'd be nice in my outfit now, wouldn't it? I'm going under, so you need to keep a watch. What, what kind of car is it? Is it Toyota? Yeah. MMO. What colour? Is that it? That's MMO, it. MMO, MMO. Found it. Quick, run, run, run. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh man. Georgie. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, I'm on my coat in the door. No. No, someone's left something in the taxi. What have they left? What? That's some bell. Oh. It's the last one that just dropped she on the corner. Oh, no, she's going to be really upset, isn't yeah. she? Yeah, that was epic. How did that go? That was good. That was good. What did we just do? A long stint in the field, Rich. Trawled the high street so you don't have to. We took on the rain in velvet Gucci loafers <laughs> so you don't have to. We went all the way up and down the high street. Oh. What were the highlights? Lots of highlights at our favourite French brand at Zadig and Sandro and Marge. And Bash. Lovely white shirt. The quality of the faux fur is really so incredible these days. Found a new glasses brand. We went to Rick's. So we went to Zara, I got a mirror, I got some slippers, I tried on some party wear. I can feel a few stories coming on. I can feel a faux fur story coming on, an evening suiting story coming on, maybe even a white tux suit story coming on. Lots of food to thought. Good morning, Luha. How are you? Good, Rich. How are you? I'm very well. Where are we today? At TCS Press Day. There is an abundance of press day this time of year. So today we are at TCS. We've got so many amazing brands. Self Portrait, Claudie, Bash. So we're going to go have a look and see what they've got. Those are some pretty good brands. Yeah. What are you hoping to see? When I came in the summer, there was a Bash blazer, which I remember I took a picture of and then I bought when it came in in the season. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what they've got. Should we go and have a look? Let's, Let's do it. What can you see? What can you see? Huggy and then a little stud, that's so cool. Oh, Where are we now? Oh, that's cool. What's that made of? It looks like it's going to be leather, but it's not. It's cool. like Japanese. Yeah, it's quite Japanese. It's Georgie's famous shirt. This is like their classic. They've got white, they've got denim. They've now got this like dusty grey. That's cool. That's amazing. So what season are we looking at now? This is spring summer. Oh my god, how incredible is that? Very so 80s. This is the version of what I'm wearing now. And I a pretty classic trend. Another colour of that. That's Ooh. amazing. Where are we now? Now we're in Claudie. Another gorgeous French brand. She Lots of Chanel vibes. Oh, sweet. So cute. Chunky sandals aren't going anywhere, clearly. Always do a good Chanel Aspire jacket. Uh, where are we now? Self-portrait. That is just gorgeous, isn't it? The shape on that is amazing. Self-portrait is always so good. Such an affordable occasion wear brand. 200 to 300 pound mark. And the detail and the cut is so incredible. Self-portrait obviously have their classic style, so like this style is the one that literally catapulted into the industry. Oh, oh hello. Look at that. Where are we now? Now we're at Ella Johnson. It's kind of feminine, boho, chic, gorgeous sleeves, gorgeous print, effortless. Look at that. Really cool. Well done, Ulla. So this is Mother. I have to give them a shout out. As we know, I'm a big jeans fan. And they very kindly sent me a pair of their Tomcat jeans. The most comfortable, best jeans I have ever worn. Charles and Pete. Oh, how beautiful. Classic, timeless, I feel like everyone needs that pair of shoe in the summer. I need a pair of shoe like that. Duke and Dexter, Georgie always talks about Duke and Dexter. They're cool, aren't they? So soft, oh my god. Ooh. Where are we now? Ooh. I bought a blazer from the Coupal eight years ago. Navy double breasted blazer with a black panel down the side. Always get asked where it's from. So I think I need to revisit their tailoring. That's just a nice, simple black blazer. Oh my god, those with a black polo neck and a black tuxedo blazer would look so cool. How did that go? That was good. Bash always do great. 80s exaggerated shapes in there, body, just tweeds, classic Chanel inspired jackets. Nice to see self portrait doing so much block colour. Yeah, really great to see. Well, hello there. Well, hello there to you two. <laughs> You've made it just in time as I pulled the first thing out of the oven. What is it? A vegan tray bake. Please don't hurt yourself downstairs. Hey, guys. Hey. 
Oh, I did that last time. I didn't tell you. I should always warn people. So talk me through. What's in it? Fennel, garlic, tomato, capers, olive oil, oregano. It's too bad this isn't smell vision because that is an aroma, it. right? Are we doing anything festive? Sour cherry truffles. Great. Hence why we've got. Is it beginning to feel a lot like Christmas? Well, I had my mother-in-law over the weekend. My youngest decided he wanted to watch a Christmas movie. What did you watch? Netflix one with Kurt Russell. I'm going to have to Google it because it is brilliant. Christmas Chronicles. Yes, that's it. Christmas, Christmas Chronicles. Good morning, my Howie. I'm great, thank you. It's a nice crisp morning. It's a lovely morning. Yeah. What are we doing today? We're back in my favourite spot with the conscientious cook cooking up another five tasty recipes. What are they? Vegan tray bake maize, kedgeree, festive sour cherry truffles, and a masaman curry, which is my favourite. I love masaman curry too. Yeah, we're in for a good morning. Peanut butter blondies for me. What did you forget about? Peanut butter blondie. Good morning, doesn't right? Like this? Anyways, why aren't you wearing your glasses? Oh. Left them in the so what can you see right now? Blurry tray bake that smells delicious. <laughs> How many fingers am I holding up? <laughs> Four. All good. I'm going to make kedgeree now. Some olive oil into a heavy base pan. A smoked haddock. The curry powder. Add in the rice. That's so yummy. Add smoked fish. The coconut yogurt. Chopped parsley. Boiled eggs. And that's my smoked haddock kedgeree. Eloise, how does it taste? Really nice. Is it overly fishy? How does it taste? Mm, yummy. You can try it now. Okay. Oh my god. Oh, it's nice with that. I like it. Good. Nikki, what are we making next? Peanut butter brown, uh, blondies. How do you feel about peanut butter blondies? There's only one way to feel, and that's elated. I'm going to make peanut butter and chocolate blondies. Crunchy peanut butter. Two eggs. Maple syrup. Add the chocolate. Pop that in a 180 oven. 19 minutes. How does that taste? Oh, that's 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 good. I'm going to make a vegetarian masaman curry. Stir coconut milk for 35 minutes. That's my tofu and aubergine and sweet potato. That's some curry. Incredible. Transported to Asia. Is it good? It really is. Is this the final thing? Yep. What are you making? Sour cherry and clear truffles. I'm obsessed by sour cherries. And I thought they're quite Christmassy. Sour cherries. Those what is sour cherries. I love them. Oh, wow, that's sour. Sour cherry and clear truffles. Sea salt. Teaspoon of vanilla extract. <laughs> to coat them, let them drain, and then just pop them on here. So these have now set, and they're ready to be enjoyed. How does it taste, Maya? Mm. Yeah, you like that? I like it. sour, but so good. Chocolate on your lips. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much indeed. See you soon. Bye. How did that go? Fantastic, as always. Left very full. It's always a treat when we get to go to Nikki's. What was your dish of the day? Veggie tray bake. Incredibly flavoursome. I'd have to go for the peanut butter blondies. I think I ate about three. And we've got some for the office. Where can we find the recipes? On the Share Like Instagram stories very soon. Every Tuesday. I'm all right. You feeling all right? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm I mean, battling on. I've got a cold. It's not the end of the world. What's that? It's a bit your mail, I understand. What, so it's harder or it's easier? What is it? It's harder. It's harder. <laughs> it's harder. <laughs> <laughs> good morning, Georgie Corridor. How are you? Good, I'm good. Busy day. Why are you whispering? Because there's a podcast going on next door. That's all travel. So what's happening today? We've let the hub to Brand Me, which is hosting an entrepreneurial seminar workshop this morning. So I'm going down to do a little talk, a bit of a Q&A. Then we've got a show. What Miss McCoy in the show? Are you a big Miss McCoy fan? Yeah. What's that? Everything gold draw, reasonable, on trend, hot, hot, hot. I remember a decade ago, it was a tiny, 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 one of the fastest growing businesses in the UK, the Sunday Times business section in the top 100 fastest growing. I mean, that's mega, right? It, it's mega. It's amazing to have watched this trajectory. So I'm excited that she's coming on the show. And what are you going to be talking about? We're doing our brand focus with her. It's a bit about the business, a bit about their best sellers, what's new. I look at a load of their products. Looking forward to it? Really forward to Georgia Corridge Cole, what's on your desk? Well, there's quite a bit, isn't there? I mean, there's a mammoth amount. Oh, look, look, look. Zip Smith London. Ooh, oh, it's a big bottle of gin. In collaboration with Paul Smith. That's cool. Zip Smith London. Paul Smith and Zip Smith. Cool. Thanks very much. Next, what is this? Oh, Connacht. Oh, we yeah. saw them at Spirit. Spirit yeah. British fragrance and well-being brand founded by Amanda Connacht. Oh my God, there might be a Christmas candle in here, Rich. Oh my goodness, do you know what I've got? What you got? Somebody gave me... Thanks, Rich. You gave me this. It's a big budget. I, I know you really splashed out, but it's very much. But to be fair, look at that. I like work at that. You nailed hey. it. You nailed Just it. Happy birthday. Please find our new three wick. Oh, three wick. And look, oh, there he is. You've spoiled me. Oh, I can smell Christmas already. That's the Christmas candles. What's it smell like? Orangey. Lovely, isn't that nice? Thank you, Connor. Oh, pretty. Something from Glossier. Boy brow, boy brow. So good, can you see? Yeah, you've got some pretty serious boy brow right now. Nice, happy days. Three for three, this is going very well. What else have we got? Nars, an oldie but a goodie. This is a good stocking filler. How's the Luna bronzer? Best bronzer ever. I actually could really do with that bronzer today. It's the best. Lovely, oh, lucky me. Oh, Rick Stein. Love a bit of Rick Stein. Real French cooking. Oh, 120 brand new recipes. Oh, oh, I'm starving, so I'm already. Oh, there's mushrooms. How does Rick Stein just pull 120 recipes out of the bag? Boom, like that. What's in here? I like the packaging. Advanced 
skincare backed by science. You should buy it. 50% wrinkle reduction in 45 days. Our patented retinal complex is clinically proven to repair the four benchmarks of aging, cause wrinkle spots, tone. Cool. You've got a pen to cross it off. I like to do that, you know. Do it. Nothing's holding you back. Cocktail serum, phase one, phase two, phase three. Thanks, beauty buyer. Last but not least. We're so excited to share Sock Shop's partnership with anti-bullying charity Patchwork Elephant and Aid of Friendship Friday on the 8th of November. We've missed that. Oh. Hope you love your limited edition socks. Wear them with pride ahead of anti-bullying week and Elmer's 30th birthday. Lots of love from Trace and Sock Shop. Well, it was World Kindness Day yesterday. Oh, wow. Can you just feel how soft these socks are? Ooh. 428, 7 to 11. Look, this is for everyone in my family. Oh, Elmer's birthday. Is that a thing? Who's Elmer? Oh, it's the elephant, I think. You heard of Elmer before? No, oh, but Mimi's so mad about that book. He's the much loved fictional character, Elmer the Elephant, created by David McKee. They've sold over 10 million books worldwide and this has been translated into more than 50 languages. Elmer's subtle message is that it's okay to be different and that we should celebrate our differences. You need to resonate with children around the world. And it aligns perfectly with Kidscape's focus this year. Change starts with us. I wish I'd opened this earlier. This has been sitting in the corner waiting for you. My children had odd socks day on Tuesday at school and they had to wear odd socks to celebrate basically being unique. Look at all those. It's yeah. a shame, isn't it? And I'm going to take these home. We're going to have a family odd socks strictly Saturday instead. Lovely. I like that. And that, Rich, is everything I think that is on my desk. I've got to go to the store. They're waiting downstairs. John, there's Christmas that came out today. Oh, yeah, of course. You've seen it. It's good, right? It's really sweet. Yeah. I really loved it. Oh, that was didn't... great. Edgar the... Eager Edgar. Eager Edgar. Is that right? Edgar the Edgar. Eagerly Edgar. 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 Can I tell you something? When I watched on YouTube this morning, only 220 people had viewed it. Oh, my God. You're so special. I, I got the PR email. It's quite cool. Yeah, you are on it. Excitable Edgar. A bit when the little girl rings the doorbell and Edgar answers the door and you can tell he's been crying. I was like... <laughs> Okay, but it made me laugh and cry in the space of 30 seconds. I mean, how do you do that? It's amazing. Mm. It's now had 150,000 views. Oh, it's 221. Did you get it like a medal or something, or what did you get? It should be, I think. We watched it in bed with Mimi. She was like, I don't like that, Mum. Can I watch Peppa Pig? You didn't like it. You didn't like it. See you at the show. See you at the show. John knows Christmas adverts out. First thing I watch when I wake up this morning, I do that with my phone, and I usually just go on like some kind of social media, which is very bad. Don't do that. Can you remember what your all-time favourite John Lewis had is? I just remember a penguin. Like, Excitable Edgar. Excitable Edgar. That's it. I was thinking of the word. Look at his eyes. I do feel quite filthy now. Oh, I'm scared he's gonna blow out. It's Christmas pudding. Isn't that nice? And it's all about accepting people for who they are. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Rich. Is it Christmas now? Because it's out. Yes, it is. Okay, I'm going to put it out there. I think it might be my favourite one. It's strong talk. I know. It's definitely top three. I just love a dragon. Love the cape. Very on trend. Love a redhead. Cute. Loved it. Favourite, yeah. Total my favourite one they've done for a long time. I think it's really sweet. I love it. I think it's one of my favourites. <laughs> So I'm Marisa Horden and I'm the founder and creative director of Missima. How long have you been going? Gosh, longer than people think. I mean, I've known Georgie for years. Our first office was opposite each other. Back in the day, I mean, it must be about 12 years ago. So it's really nice to have a catch up. Everyone's known us for maybe four years now. But really? It's been 12 years. So there was a seven year journey, just hard work, grit and perseverance, thinking it was never going anywhere. So people now would be like, they're kind of like an overnight success. Yeah, I really love to tell people, no, that's not the case. They don't realise necessarily how much work goes in behind the scene, how many years of hard work, just getting everything everything right and everything aligned, design, product, the quality, logistics, marketing, everything. Is everyone on the show down there? Yeah, of course. Sorry about me and my porridge. Since I got up this morning at seven o'clock, knock, stop, school runs, children having tantrums, meeting with my interior designer. How many have you got? And then I've just done that talk. At the moment, three. Wow. How did you fit in three children? I mean, that's probably the only scary bit. I don't have children yet. Hope this time. Hope this time. You've got a joke. What's the room? I don't know how you do it all. That's why. Well, you so know, impressive. I think we just managed. Yeah, you just Oh, hello. What's in the bag? Christmas came away. Guys, what's in the bag? Dum, 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 dum. Merry Christmas to Polly. Oh, thank you. It really is like Christmas has come early. Mm. Thanks, Rich. Guys, what have you got? Miss my goodies. Yeah. I'm so excited about these. You're going to know what this is, Rich. Oh, yes. That's your pick. That was my pick. Oh, don't they look cool together? They do look really nice together. Pause, what have you got? They're really cool, like chunky, oh. twisted hoops. You can't them. go wrong with a Miss Mugget, can you? To any boyfriends, partners, husbands, oh God, mothers, me. fathers. Others, friends oh. looking for some Christmas gift card in space. If and out. Hello and welcome to the Sherlock Show. Yeah, I was with you 220. By the time I got to the office, there were 150,000. Everyone seen it? Yeah. yeah. It's the lead singer of Bastille. Yeah. yeah. Is that who it is? She's back with a band. Katie Holmes' great style, but really up to the game. It's that time of the year where we're all in need of some new party wear. You cannot go wrong with a pair of leather skinnies. They've nailed it with this, yeah. haven't they? Bavaria, of all things gold, best known for their layering pieces and vintage inspired pendants. So it was my side hustle. It was your side hustle. Oh, my new favourite. I really love it. You know what? Let's start making our own chains. And don't forget to follow at Missima London for even more inspiration. We'll be back next week with fitness, beauty.
beauty and of course lots more fashion. Until then, don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe, comment and tell your friends. Bye-bye.